Welcome. In the previous video, I went over the procedure to transfer CDs to lossless audio on a Mac using iTunes. So when you go through that process, you'll get a folder like I have over here, like this lossless music folder. And in here I have four albums worth of lossless music. So you can see here it's got uh, these M4A files. So what I want to do is convert this lossless music to AAC music. So I have a folder here, it's empty right now, it's AAC. So I want to convert the music in here and put it in the AAC folder and keep the directory structure and everything. So what I've created is this shell script and I'll put a link on my, I'll put a link in the description to my website where you can get this. And in order to run this on the Mac, what we can do is we'll just copy it. So I'll drag here over the code and I'll right click and say copy. And then I'll go into a terminal on my Mac and I'll say PB paste and then a greater than symbol and then I'll write convert underscore to underscore AAC dot SH. And the PB paste will take what I've copied and paste it into this file. So next I will type CH mod space plus X space and then the convert to AC, the convert to AAC dot SH. And now I can type open space dash E space and then convert to AAC dot SH so we can look at this script. So this is a shell script, and um, the first line here just says it's a shell script. The set E here makes it so when you're running the script, if you hit control C to stop the script, it will kill the whole script. Otherwise, it will just kill the FFmpeg script that is running. So I forgot to mention that a prerequisite to this is to install FFmpeg on your machine, and I have some videos on that, and I'll put a link in the description to those videos too. So. The usage for this is to run convert script and then have the source directory and the destination directory. And this here just um, is kind of like a little help section. And then um, this section here converts the directories you entered in the command line to the correct format to use by the script. And then this line here finds your uh, M4A files or FLAC files, and then it will run this loop for each file it finds. So this is going to find the files. And um, this section here says it's looking for FLAC or M4A, which is uh, Apple lossless. And then this dash type F is looks for just files. So it will avoid directories and things like that if you have a directory named uh, with that extension. And then the print uh, prints the name of the file and this is passed to this while loop. Here in the while loop, we export this name out as the file variable. So here we have this file variable and we're getting the original directory. And then here we're getting the file name that's called base. And then we remove the extension from the file name. So what you end up with here is the directory to the original file and then the file itself. And then we get the new directory. So what this is doing is it's uh, swapping out the original directory for the new directory. And then we have this mkdir-p new directory. What this is doing is this is creating the new directory in the uh, destination directory. And this p will create any child directories too. And this will run every time. And you know when you're transferring a whole album, the first time this runs, it will create the directory. And then after that, it, it runs, but it doesn't do anything because the directory will have already been created. And then this new file line names the new file. So we have the new directory, the file name, and then we put a dot m4a on the end, which is the AAC extension. And then this here looks to see if we've uh, already converted this file. And then we echo to the screen that we're converting the file to new file. And then this is the ffmpeg command. So we have hide banner and that will hide some of the, um, you know, uh, version information from ffmpeg. And then we do dash i for the input. And then we have the file. And remember, this is the original file, which would be the lossless. And then we have dash c colon a, which is the AAC codec. And I'm just using the built-in AAC. And previously, or years ago, I guess the AAC codec wasn't great. And there were some other non-free codecs you could use. So you could switch this to those. But they say the current AAC codec is pretty decent quality. 
and then we have dash B colon A, and this is the bit rate, and I'm going with 192K. So what you could do here is if you, you know, want to make your music smaller, say you are putting it on a small MP3 player when you're jogging and you want to be able to put more music on, you could lower this down, or you could raise it up if you want a little bit more quality, but 192 should be pretty good quality. And then we have this uh, new file here. We put these in quotes, the file and new file. So if there's spaces in the file names, it doesn't break anything. And then we have this less than uh, forward slash dev forward slash null. And what this does is this keeps um, FFmpeg from reading standard input, um, which could cause some problems. The gist of this is it's going to read find all the uh, lossless files, it's going to loop through them and convert them all to AAC and it's going to store them in a new directory. So let's run this script now. So I'm, I'm in my home directory, but I'm going to actually move this to the desktop. So I'll type CD desktop and then I will type uh, period forward slash and then convert to AAC.sh and I'm going to choose the lossless music directory and it doesn't matter if you have the trailing slash on there or not, it will uh, fix it how it needs it. And then I'll type space and then AAC and then I'll hit enter. So now it's converting the files here. You can see it's doing it about you know 75 speed. So if we open up this AAC directory, you'll see we have the heart directory here, we have the title, and then we have the music in here. So in the lossless directory, we would see the same thing. So this crazy on you was 37 megabytes before, and we compress that down to 7.1 megabytes with the AAC encoding. So if we go in here and hit Control C, this will stop the script. Okay, and if we look here, it was on uh, Heart Magic Man. So what you would want to do is go in here and delete Magic Man. So I'll just right click on that and say Move to Trash because we cut it off halfway through. And then you could restart this script and it will not re-encode anything you've already encoded, but it will go back to the last one and it went back to Magic Man and re-encoded it. So you could start and stop this at any time as long as you remove the last file you were encoding uh, because it likely won't have completed. Okay, so that's completed now. So we have all of our music here. So you could um, copy this onto a thumb drive and like say put it in your car's USB to listen to this music on your car's uh, stereo system. You could actually run the script and have the destination be the USB drive. Um, so there are a number of different options for this. I'm also going to be doing another video on the same procedure using MP3 and it's almost identical but I'm making separate videos in case people are searching for that specific thing. And I'll put a link in the description to a playlist with all my conversion um, videos and uh, references I made. So. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.